How to fix a DME relay. So this is the DME relay for a 944 and it's a uh, car won't start with it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open the sucker up. If you look on the bottom side, you see two of the sides of the case have little tabs. I take a small little screwdriver and I work it under one side. I can kind of get the circuit board over the tab and do the other side, push it down. And here it comes apart. So this is inside the DME relay, and it's really just two separate relays, right? Here's one big relay, and here's the other relay down, down here. And a relay is just an electromagnetic switch. So let's see if I can hold it in this orientation. You see right here there's a little, this little plate here has the contacts, and so when this moves up and down it actually makes a click, and it closes the circuit down here right at those little points. Maybe this one's a little easier to see. Oh yeah, right here. So here's the electrical contact points. And when this electromagnet turns on, it just pulls this towards it and closes the connection. Now, why is this DME relay dead? I don't know how well the camera can see it, but if you look right here, there's a broken solder joint around this pin. If you look at all these solder joints closely, this one right here, you can see a crack all the way around it so the electrical connection is not going through this point. So we can just re-solder this and it'll be good to go. So I've got my soldering iron warmed up. I'm going to put a little bit of solder on the tip. And I'm just going to hold it right to the point there. I think it needs a little bit more here. Put it right to there. Just gonna heat that up. Perfect. So we've reflowed the solder from a cold solder joint that was losing an electrical connection. And now we'll slide the cover back on. Just right here. Cover just slides right back on like this, snaps into place. Did it work? Well, let's pull the spare that I had put into test. Plug this one in.